Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio Podcast. I'm Reese. I'm Dan. Simon says I'm Declan. Simon says that was. Uh, we should have known that was coming. That one. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like it's on the nose. Uh, this week we're doing Die Hard Three: Die Hard with a Vengeance, Correct. the third in the series of the Die Hard franchise. Um, and we're back with our boy John McTiernan. <laughs> I was just sure what he was going to You're going to yeah. wait for it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to what's he saying now? <laughs> John McTiernan's back, baby. And can so I, is John McClane, baby. Can, yeah. I, can I open up? Yeah. I think if this movie didn't have Jeremy Irons or Samuel L. Jackson, it wouldn't have been good. I think Sam Jackson is a big reason. Yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah. Sam Jackson. Yeah. Jeremy he's, Irons is, you know, he doesn't he's get probably to, right. I would say he's that he good. doesn't get enough to do, Jeremy Irons. Exactly, yeah. And that's what I was going to leave. Yeah. By the time he is on screen. Yeah. Real good. It was good, but a lot of money. He's probably got 10 minutes of screen time. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, did you just guys find... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, let, me do the, okay. let me do the, oh, let sorry, me do the spoil yeah. thing sorry, because or else we'll get into it. Okay, okay. Um, so, yes, we do spoil these films and talk in depth about them. So, it's a spoiler warning from here on. Uh, and we're uncensored, so uh, yeah. Watch your children. Get the cussies out. Watch your children. <laughs> watch your children. Oh, that sounded bad. Uh, make sure what? your children don't watch this. <laughs> well, listen. You're, you're all fired. Okay, okay what were you going to say? I just found the little tasks that they were given. That, that whole plot line was just, they could have done that better. Yeah, mm. I think that should have been expanded, if anything. I liked yeah. that part, but it was like all for naught, really. Yeah. Oh, the whole like the bombs. The yeah, whole bombs side. I like around. that. I yeah. like the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I like the goose chase. I liked yeah. it, but I wish there was more. Yeah, it just it, to me it just felt like. And I wish there was more consequences for yeah. it. Really. Mm. Yeah. Um, I get it. Yeah. But other than that, the rapport between Bruce and um, Samuel L. Jackson yeah. was great. Chemistry is crazy. Yeah, good. It was good, and uh, the, the opening scene where he just dropped in Harlem. That's, that's oh. to me is like an iconic. Yeah, I remember okay. that's that. I, so it's like, what the moment. fuck? I haven't seen this movie since I was like younger. Which, when did it come out? Like 95. 95, 95. Yeah. Probably saw it when I was like nine or 10 or something like that. Maybe. Right. Did you see it like in 95? No, definitely not. I would have been in kindergarten. <laughs> oh, okay. All no, right, I just, so I remember seeing it at my friend's <laughs> house. I remember seeing it at my friend's house. Yeah. Was, was okay. it, yeah. were the parents around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, it's not really that bad. So, like, about so 2000, like, around yeah. 2000. Yeah, it would have been around that time. Yeah. 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 Um, and it's pre-9-11 movie, which is crazy when you see the yeah, visual, yeah. visuals of this yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's what Joe said. It's just, ooh. Yeah. yeah. And the red skies are back. Isn't it yeah. weird? Whenever you see it yeah. now, it almost feels like kind of like a ghost, like mm. in a film. Yeah. yeah. I was there, I think, a year or two after, and the, the site was the Ground Zero site. It was hectic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But... um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, and another thing too is the whole McLean. I know he's just like a drunk head, but beginning, it's like he's just. Why doesn't he just? Why is he like a commissioner or something? Because everyone just thinks he's a god. Do you know what I mean? But, he, <laughs> but he's not. But he doesn't <laughs> because he's not. He's not. Uh, he's a classic uh, guy that's really good at his job, but won't play the game with mm. the with the um with the bosses. Yeah. So they'll never promote him. I'm just thinking if they that's did- that's realistic in life, man. Yeah, like, there are true, so yeah. many people out there that are yeah. like really, really good, but yeah, when they, they, they won't bow down to the to yeah. play the game and suck up to the bosses. Yeah. So I should remember someone I don't know, like Joe Rogan, but someone said to him, even though this, I think it'd be stupid, but one guy goes, "I want you to run for president because you know a lot of stuff and you're knowledgeable a lot of stuff." Oh, and he goes, and he, yes, he said, he goes, "Fuck no." Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want to mm. put up all the politics and shit. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Nah. Um. But yeah, so, that's, yeah that was a bit of a sidetrack. Fair enough. But so yeah, this- it's, um, as far as the, the movie goes, it was okay. I think I had my hopes wow. up high for this and I just think it just dragged on for too long. And that chick, she was a terrible villain. I <laughs> had no persona. <laughs> just- she didn't speak. She didn't yeah. even speak. Yeah. Not a line. It's just, I, don't, I just found it odd. And there was, I don't, I don't know, there's just something on there. I just can't put my finger on it. There's just something in there that's bugged me in this movie. Okay. Maybe I had my hopes up too high for this. Um but yeah, like I really enjoyed um, Samuel L. Jackson. This was bloody good. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's exactly. my uh, your your initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. I actually find myself similarly in line to Daniel. Really, I'm surprised. I probably enjoyed it a one... bit more. I thought I would. 
Why? I thought I would. Why? Why are you, <laughs> why are you surprised? Because no, only because last week he said this is more. Yeah, but I hadn't seen the since movie I was that young. he's like <laughs> that. I remember wanting to watch like um, one of the series. That that it wasn't because, because of you. <laughs> I've got that one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to prod him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, it's all right. Keep going. Didn't to prod me. You know what? Uh, because why would anybody think like Daniel? Yeah, well, right. <laughs> he's <laughs> um, Cheers. I probably, I probably had a bit more fun with it than you did. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> That's it. We'll figure it out. I can't read your review. Goes no. along. Um, but I, 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 I do wish that it's. It was kind of like. I, it felt very weird pacing to me. Yeah, that's the what pacing it is. was like crazy, oh, it was all over the place. And then, um, yeah. and there was sometimes where it, there were, it just would cut, and it made no sense. Yeah. Like Bruce Willis had just teleported somewhere else in the yeah. cut. It was like really weird to me. Yeah. And it, like, it, like he would be like sitting down, and then it would do a cut, and he'd be standing up, walking around somewhere. And I knew it was trying to, but it just felt weird. And even yeah. you know when the the water's chasing him out of the thing. And then that cut, and then all of a sudden he's climbing out of the truck. I'm like, how did he? How yeah, did he do that? Yeah. And then the next thing he's like flying out the thing. It was yeah. just like some things just weren't tangible, mm-hmm. which bothered me a little bit. Um, but the just yeah, the pacing was wild. Like, yeah. It was all over the shop, and um, like he the, the, the one good thing about this one, but the bosses all <laughs> competent bosses, relatively competent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. everyone and people. A lot of MVPs in this movie. A lot of people mm. throwing their life on the line in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did enjoy the the school thing because that is like fun. But that's and what I'm saying. That, that I wish that I excellent. wish that had have had real consequences. Yeah, that was yeah. excellent. And I just had a, a, a thing pop my head. Sorry to cut you off, but that's all right. I just wonder if Captain Jack Sparrow, because he's got a lot of similarities here with with uh, uh, McLean. Does he? Does he? Yeah, I just find drunk. He's like a. A hero and just bumbles along. John McClane doesn't really bumble along, though. Well, but you know what I mean? Like, he's always in the right place at the I right time. I can see what you're, mm. you're, where yeah. you're connecting. I'm, I'm just wondering if that was modelled off this. That formula of a hero. I don't think Jack Sparrow was. But mm. I do think that, like, you know, I think there are yeah, a I lot see, of I can't heroes. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of heroes do do the falling into luck thing. Mm. Where, like, you know, like, they, they're doing something and they... For example, Die Hard 2, where they have that moment where he looks over to the left and all of a sudden there's the ejector seat yeah, yeah. in the oh, cockpit. Yeah, that's what I'm the whole, you know, the whole the, McLean Yeah, the fall into this one, it. This one starts to get it ridiculous with its action sequences yeah, again that's as what well. Yeah, it does and at the what, end. And that's what happened with Which Jack is really Because it's really like, I was really enjoying it for the first sort of half when it's really contained and it's like Simon, you know, playing these games. And I was like, oh, this is actually like, this is really cool. They've like really changed it. And then like... I actually got a bit frustrated when he was just robbing gold bullions. I was like, "Oh, why? Why couldn't it just have been a story the, about uh, him just messing plot. with yeah, yeah, with McLean?" Being yeah. it would have been good to have like a film like this is John McLean and uh, you know Samuel Jackson's character Zeus, mm. and it's phone booth all around the yeah, city. Yeah, that'd be sick. Mm. Like it's just phone booth everywhere in the city. Yeah, and then they're trying and to figure out who it is the whole would, time. Yeah, would have been really but cool. I reckon it'd be cool if they had. Samuel L. Jackson at the end as a villain. Like exactly maybe, like, maybe exactly the, like the movie they did together, Unbreakable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I forgot that they all did that yeah. movie together. Yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. They must I must have really got along. Cool. Yeah. I think they, yeah, they must have, yeah. 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 They're two big, big dudes now. Like, yeah. yeah. I actually had a look at- um, both still with hair in this movie as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was interested in Willis. I thought, what is, what's this guy doing now? Oh, man. A lot of B grade stuff. I don't think he gives he a shit death anymore. He does like he does like one or two a year, man. Yeah. He did he did Death Wish not long ago with it's an Eli Roth film. Um, I didn't mind it. Is that, is that he's gory? Uh, not oh. really. Death well, Wish is it's based on like the original Bronze, Death Wish. Bronson, yeah. Bronson, yeah. Bronson, Charles Bronson. Yeah, yeah, but it's loosely based. Okay, uh, but I I didn't mind it. Yeah. Also, is that the um elevator scene i wonder if winter soldier borrowed that concept yeah that yeah a little pretty bit similar yeah super yeah, similar yeah, yeah. yeah um did we get your we just got your yeah your little thing yeah. yeah, what do you think man? yeah i enjoyed it i i actually enjoyed it more than i thought i was going to i did remember liking this one more than number two for sure i think it's better and, than two yeah, it's better yeah. Than two, yeah. and two, i think yeah. i think i'm gonna say it this is just a a next week type of thing, but I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy four even more than this. You've been saying that. Every You've week. been saying that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
But now I'm. But no, I've said like four is more is better than you think. But after watching this one now, I think I'm. There's more of a chance of that okay. now. I want to know your reasons why next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but yeah, or maybe it might be a little bit of nostalgia because I remember watching four in the cinemas. But we'll get into that. As for this film, I I enjoyed it. I think it's breakneck pacing at the beginning where you're thrown straight into yeah that's straight into yeah. it there's no there's nothing like the other movies there's no like you know we're at the airport mm. and doing something mm. we're at this we're doing that it's john mcclain's in the back of a fucking car like a, a van and he's drunk and throw him in a harlem yeah. <laughs> that's oh, it it's nothing just, hardly anything the opening explosion it's it's sort straight of that was that i didn't expect that because so it was starting slow and then next thing boom and yeah. i was like holy shit yeah and they had yeah. that song do you remember now how does that song go in the beginning um, the song oh da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. did the saints go marching in yeah I think that, was that it yeah and then it stops when the explosion blows mm. up did that remind you of um oh not the song but the actual opening reminded you of uh the dark knight it was like yeah, I, I have to admit, I did have similar yeah. vibes like, to it. I was like, fuck, that's a good intro. Uh, all the way through the movie, I had vibes from mm. Dark Knight. Yeah. 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 Like the city shots from down, uh, shooting yeah. downward into like cramped streets. Yeah. Mm. And actually, I'm going to say, yeah. the direction in this is really good. The cinematography is probably the best out of the three mm. so far. Mm. And um, yeah, the use of shots is just really, really good. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. I'll, I'll agree with the cinematography. Yeah. And and I think it holds up to today. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a lot... Uh, it's a lot cleaner and there's less... I mean, uh, this is coming from... Because the, the big scope the, the is The first too. half of this movie is cleaner. You get to the second half, for example, the part where they're running out of the ship. I don't oh. know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like shaking That's the thing. I think everywhere. When it, when it yeah. gets to the boat is when it really it, yeah. it's not goes great. crazy. Yeah, there's, it's um, not great. There's a Conrad Hall shot, oh, similar, which is, which is like I think the godfather of cinema to me. And Deacon's... Um, Who's Conrad? What did he do? He did um, Road to Petition. That was his last, I think his last yeah. movie. Was and, he the Godfather guy? A Beautiful no. Mind. No, Beautiful Mind. Um, what's the Kevin Spacey one with the girl? Uh, American Beauty. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, that. Beauty yeah, I think great. that was his last film. Yeah. Um, there's a scene which I think Deacon's is inspired by using the silhouettes. And um, you know Samuel L. Jackson and um, Bruce Willis? I think they're in a tunnel and they've got to walk out. Yeah. I can't remember what happens. Can't remember. But there's a scene basically, it's from the back, they're silhouetted, but there's they have a like a two second convo, right? And you just see their mouths talking silhouetted. In modern cinema, they would have left that because they're yeah. contrast and you can see what's happening, you know who it is. Mm. But in this movie, they cut to the opposite side with a lip from the light coming from the tunnel. Yeah. And I went, Oh, it would have been better if I just left it. Mm. Left it right yeah, there. Yeah. Because it just jumped halfway through convo and like, ah, oh, just leave it. Yeah. Um, yeah, with, with these days, I would have left it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I thought that was cool because you're seeing that. I thought, that's a good shot. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you had that moment of like, this is what I would have done to fix it. Yeah. And yeah. not make it so yeah. like- Not saying I'm, you know, the, well, the I movie. hate talking about and criticizing these shots because I'm not at their level. Well, but you're better to criticize just, it than us. Yeah. But I'm just saying it would have been, been cool to, to keep that. No, because I don't want people saying- No, because I don't want like people thinking, fuck, what's this guy know? But yeah, no, I'm saying like it's just- Then we shouldn't yeah, be talking about the movies yeah. Yeah. <laughs> generally. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, but you, know, you get my point. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get your point. And I think that like, I, I like the fact that you can see that like this would have worked better if that was just stagnant. Yeah. And if they didn't- that's the thing. This movie's frenetic with its yeah. editing. Yeah. It, is it is. It's crazy. Everywhere. Yeah. It's crazy. It, it's like they're trying to keep uh, the speed and pace with the edits. Yeah. And <laughs> although that it works in a way, it also has moments where like it slows down and they're still trying to do the edit, the speedy yeah. edit, like the bullion moments. Mm. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be obviously a, a portion of the film where it's like mm. this is the cars coming in, they're going downstairs, but it feels like it's cutting from here to here to yeah. here to here and you're just like, calm down, man. Yeah. I wonder if there's... See, maybe back in those days, I don't think there was much of a, a synergy between um, all these, the, 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 the cast, mm. or the cast, I would say, the, 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 the crew. Yeah. Well, I think these days you got like, you know, you have Deacons. I would say Deacons. Like he has his usually... You know, he's working with Villeneuve or um, the Coens. Yeah. They have their all, and they'll probably have the same editor. And I know, okay, Roger will come in and say, look, yeah, just for that shot, just leave it longer. Well, even like The Mandalorian has the, the uh, visual effects people on set now with those LED yeah. screens to be able to say, can we, 
yeah. know, this will make it harder for us and they go, oh, change it then. Yeah. So that's like there's more synergy. You, you, you're right. I yeah. think that there probably was a lack of it. And they're working yeah. on film here too. So. Yeah, because that's yeah. the thing. Like maybe that shot, the cinematographer and the director might have been saying, oh, you know, this would be cool. And then maybe the editor came on board and maybe convinced McTinn and said, oh, no, I think we should cut here. Yeah, exactly. Remember, yeah. When we do, remember when we were doing weddings and we'd get shots from some of the other cameras and stuff and we'd be like, what were they thinking when they did this? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. yeah. Then I'd have to scramble looking for crowd shots yeah. to cover up yeah. mistakes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? You learn a lot shooting weddings, man. A lot yeah. of events, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, that's not good. Another handbrake. Yeah. No, I'll listen. Um, well, let's, let's get into it. We've gotten into it a little bit. Yep. Um, yeah, well, straight off the bat, uh, first note, <clears throat> holy shit with that opening. Yeah, it's good. That is the shot that it's like a distant shot of the explosion. Scale. Reminded me of uh, Clive Owen's film, Children of Men. Yeah. At yeah. the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the explosion. Yeah. Because it's just almost like a dust explosion. Yeah. yeah. It's really twist on so the way well. that I used to open movies in the 90s too with just like- I was actually saying while it was going on, I was saying to my girlfriend, this is such a classic way to open a movie in the 90s, like yeah. just showing city shots and then yeah. poof, and I was like, well, that's yeah. not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's- and, and to think that shot, again, back in those days, that's to me, I'll say it's a safe cam shot. Yeah. But sometimes it's good seeing the scope of it because in exactly. these, these days you're in there, which is cool, but it might be too much. Mm. Yeah. So, it's hard as a director to say, okay, what are we going to show here? Well, let's yeah. see. Yeah. See, I know you, you put down Nolan. But he does do that. He pulls out yeah, and then does, lets yeah. the shot occur. I don't put him down. I'm just he's just always there. He's probably because like, making movies at the time. That's probably to do with the fact, like this movie, that he does most of his things practical, right? Like yeah. you, when yeah. you're doing things practical, yeah. you're going to want to get the whole thing. Because yeah. you're like, well, we're blowing this shit up for real. Let's get the whole yeah, fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. set up and six it. cameras. And that's <laughs> just it's a yeah. CG one, you'd be more focused. Like, oh, we want to see this explode in this exact way. I guess yeah. maybe, like maybe yeah. that's a part of it. Like swordfish. Do like a uh, <laughs> really? You haven't seen it? No, the, I the old it. Um, Travolta. Yeah, and I know. I know. Jackman. I've seen it on. I've seen like bits and pieces because it was always on TV back in the day. Don't you remember yeah. the replay? Like they'd be like replay on DVD, and then yeah. <laughs> I'm not oh gonna, yeah, that yeah, 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 from yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's like maybe we just blow it up in CG and then just rotate you know, like the Matrix. You know, the, <laughs> you know what the worst thing in that movie is? The worst, the one worst the thing I've movie. seen. I'm gonna say it. Two words: John Travolta. Really? <laughs> I cannot. Th- that guy, man, he's. Any movie he's in, I reckon he's terrible. You don't want no. the traps? No. Nah, never liked him. Never. Huge. Face off? No. Grease? Not- oh, come. Grease? Just- huh? Grease is just classic. No, nah, I don't like Grease at all. Well, he don't like it. Yeah, what a <laughs> fucking like music. He can't. He can't. He <laughs> can't <laughs> the guy can't. Act. I don't reckon he can act, eh? I think he's pretty good. Ah, oh, man. He's just. <laughs> I think after he did. Um- Punisher? Uh, well, <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? He's the villain in the. Oh yeah, that's right. In Pulp Fiction, Holy I think shit. that Pulp Fiction that was his that was his role. I think that suits him perfect. Just just that. And then after Be Cool, that was the second one, wasn't it? Was it Be Cool? No, Be Cool wasn't by um, what's his name? By Tarantino. yeah, no, but there was who, 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 he was, was in Be Cool, but it was Be it Cool was, had everyone in it though. Yeah, yeah but it was like a Kuma similar Thurman, vibe. The Rock. Yeah, but that that there, I think that's when he started just going wacky. And then he did that sci-fi thing, and then he did that he did swordfish. That, um, and it's like, come on, man! I think underrated as a character, but just a shit script is from from Paris with Love. Oh man! Where he's man. like bald, and he's like, yeah. motherfucker, goddamn! Like, I don't like, know like, how like, he's I, saying I, stuff is just so like over just, the top. I'm like, I want to yeah. see this guy just be like John McClane for like a movie. Yeah, I think he's, <laughs> he's just his <laughs> movie choice. I think you think he's, just, I think he thinks he's just too cool. Yeah, I don't know what it is. There's something there. I just don't like. Well, it. now he's not very good. He's no. have you seen that? Like he's he did that movie where he's like a guy that's like a fan of this other oh, guy. Oh yeah, that got hammered. Yeah, yeah. So, it's supposed uh, to be hard. Oh, it's directed by Fred Durst. That's uh, it. Oh my god, Fred Durst. Here's the, a, a, um, the band Limp guy. Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Biscuit. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. it's fucking horrible. Yeah. I knew you'd yeah. watch it. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, I just okay. like I, I've watched the but reactions but that's, but that's of people seeing it. Yeah. Like, and I, I was like, mm, never. Yeah, it's never. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. You know, I'm here to ruffle, ruffle, ruffle oh, people's th- feathers. Um, That's like a the, the- punch oh, <laughs> Ruffle people's th- feathers. Russell? <laughs> ruffle people's feathers. There we go. I can't Got believe it. we're spending so much time on this. Jesus. The, the, lottery, <laughs> the lottery number scene. I, was, I had a little bit of like a, a moment with the lottery number moment because they didn't go too far into it except for like using it as like a foreshadowing. Yeah, you, you knew script. it was going to come back up yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But I was thinking about it. I'm like, 
this says a lot about mm. people in the city. Mm. Yeah. Because all of them are doing lottery numbers. They all want to get the fuck out of here or get the money. Might, to- that's the funny. At my work, I've never really heard lottery talked about before. But that's- at work, everyone does it. Yeah. Everyone does it. And I was yeah. like, I was, I was, people, yeah. and I was like I've, I've just never been in a, in Gotta be in a social so, situation. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You're at work and you're like, but that's because they're all like underground and they're like, I don't want to be here. I want to win the fucking lottery 100%. and get out of here. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what that feels like when I said a uh, lottery numbers tell a lot about people. Yeah. I think <laughs> um, uh, the use of sound effects with things like uh, a lot of McTiernan's films, he does this thing where, for example, the knife gets thrown into the board on his chest mm. and it goes, dum, dum. like the sounds. Oh, funk. Yeah, but the sound of the music, like a dun dun, dun dun. Ah, oh, I didn't And if you that. notice it, and I'm like, holy shit, I feel like I'm back in in like his older movies, like Die Hard One and Predator, mm-hmm. yeah. because it, he has that specific style. Yeah. And you'll notice later on, he does the same thing with the explosion. There's like a radial thing that comes out of it. Yeah, the same as Predator. Oh yeah, that's, like the, yeah. I noticed that yeah. the blue yeah. radius. At the end, yeah. the one at the oh, end, the, yeah, like yeah. an atom bomb. Yeah. yeah. Shock the shockwave. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was, I was like, thinking when I was hell? like, I was like, wouldn't that have smashed Sam Jackson and Bruce Willis when they jumped? Oh, they would have yeah. been cut in half. <laughs> like, like they- hey, do you know, it's just a fact. I don't know if I told you before. You know, those, you know, the Humvees, right? You yeah. know how they're designed, well, the new ones are designed, it's not flat, so it's like a V. So if a bomb, if they go have an IED, what are they called? Yeah. The bomb goes like sort of around it rather than just taking the brunt. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but people in there, from the shockwave, they can basically the, the, their testicles just get obliterated. Really? Through that, yeah. So from an all IED these movies, in yeah, a Humvee. Yeah. So all these movies you see, it's all this crap. Obviously, it's Hollywood, you know. But oh, yeah. just imagine all the. Are you telling yeah, me that yeah. they've been fucking lying to me this whole yeah. time? <laughs> whole time. <laughs> oh, my Are money you back. telling me that bullets don't sound like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, interesting fact. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know. You, I didn't know your nuts so explode. Mo- so most of them are all on like testosterone and yeah. like injecting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's weird because at the start of this movie, Simon is both menacing and super cheesy. Yeah. But he is menacing. Like mm. he, he has that moment at the start where he's talking and then they say something and he goes off the phone. You know, I think Samuel Jackson says something that pisses him off and he goes, don't do that again. Mm. Yeah. You know, you're being rude. And you, there's a moment there We're where just on that. that is menacing. How can you just let a civilian just come in and just yeah. say whatever he wants? Well, in a-, a lot of that happens in this room. Yeah. <laughs> I do not. Like, yeah, it is weird, but they are yeah. like, but they, they are at the mercy of this guy. Like, yeah. And he's requesting him. So. Yeah. It is weird that Sam Jackson would just be so unhinged like that. Though. Yeah. After he'd been so nice about helping Bruce Willis on the street. Yeah. Yeah. And even but even later in the movie, he says, "Oh, I'm a police business." He just he just basically owning the streets. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But it's, it's I funny. think it's weird enough that Simon takes his guy on the journey as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why? Because he's Samuel Jackson. I guess. Because he um, helped. Because he helped him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh. They, I said here, they treat John McCain like he's trashed, but he saved so many lives. Yeah. Like you see, like we've talked about that. He's he saved like how many lives yeah. in the last yeah. two movies? I think it's just the abrasive personality they're talking about. Uh, yeah, so. like as you said, it was like yeah. it doesn't work well with others. Yeah. So the, he was suspended. They didn't talk well. about that as well, did they? Yeah. You can just imagine he's been talking smack in the precinct the whole time. Look at the way or, he talks to everybody. Yeah. Or even he's the <laughs> yeah. type of guy that's like doing whatever he wants in the street. Yeah, exactly. Type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Smacking people around. At least his of- boss is like, like I said, yeah, at least the, the sergeant this time is like actually making good decisions throughout yeah. the movie. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like that's, yeah, I noticed that. Very sensible. And I think John McTiernan, he brought, he brought, I think a bit of his well back to his vision. You know, I mean, yeah. the first one. And I actually noticed when he was in a cab, the cab. I think it was the beginning. And um, you know, we was talking to Argyle in the first movie. Yeah, he goes, yeah, Argyle, okay, Argyle. Yeah, yeah, he did that again in this movie, and he didn't do that in the second movie. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, definitely the second movie. This this movie here has made the second movie feel so weird. Yeah, yeah. In in the run of everything. Oh. Well, it's just really good that they decided not to go with being in one setting again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But it's a shame that they decided to continue on with a heist. Yeah, because it's like it didn't need to be a heist. Yeah, like what no. Gruber did it once. 
You like, know the big um the big the the thing with the drill on the front of it. That that's what the machines I drive like at work without oh, really? the drill on the front, but they look like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Has anyone died on one of those things? Uh, Probably. <laughs> yeah, in Queensland last year. Really? Like two years. Ago. Like got drilled. No, no. Um, because the cabs bad. are open. Yeah. And they have a higher roof there, like yeah. really high, and it fell. Oh. The whole like wall fell and crushed oh. him. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Do you have guys? Do you guys have a count? Like count this many days without, uh, without, I, a, no, I can't, yeah, without, I can't. A, without a death or without an without incident. Without a death, yeah. yeah. They, oh, they, didn't they, have they wouldn't incident. bother having one without an incident. Yeah, uh, every I've, day. There were some mines I went to when I used to film underground. Yeah. They had that days without incident. Yeah. A Bulga Bri or Nara Bri, I can't remember. They might ones. do it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've, we've, had a, we've had a couple of um, collisions and stuff lately. Wow, yeah. yeah. hectic. Um, no, one got, no one got hurt. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the chemistry between Willis and Jackson is fantastic, yeah, as, we, as we've already said. Yeah. But they have both have like this gruffness and like uh, have their own uh, morals, mm. and that kind of brings it into when they're together, they understand yeah. how to work together in mm. a really weird way. <laughs> Actually, mm. I like the race talk with them when they were filling up the gallons. He goes, yeah, you're because, racist, well, and he goes, no, you're fucking racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it, that was a good way of. Yeah, back then it was good. Well, yeah, it's that, definitely that, dated, but it, it's yeah, also- it's really, it's really like on the nose and strange racism now. But yeah. also like funny when he was like, oh, the reason I saved you is because if a white dude gets shot in Harlem, the cops will be here shooting our guys. And I was yeah. like, yeah, still yeah. was an yeah. issue yeah. back then. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I do think that like the uh, chemistry between them, because uh, obviously this movie, which I, I'll get into in later, I'll, I'll say it now, but I'll get into it more later. Uh, facts wise- this movie was supposed to be Lethal Weapon 3. Right. And, Ooh, that, and that fits well in that world. Yeah, because it's Joel Silver. Yeah. And he read it and he's like, it's just not good enough for Lethal Weapon 3. <laughs> so I'm not kidding. Shit. Yeah. And I wow. honestly I, I, I Lethal think Weapons are sick, man. Lethal Weapons are oh, don't worry, I've, well, I've watched them only about a year know, and a half. I've never watched the Lethal Weapon movies. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Man, they're really good. They're no, good. I've just yeah, never yeah. seen them. Mel Gibson. But, uh, He's done some stupid shit in his life, but he's bloody good, man. He's a good actor. Yeah. How good's yeah. Apocalypto? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's one of <laughs> yeah. his best movies. Yeah. Even Passion's good. A bit long. I watch but, Passion. Yeah. We really? were soldiers. Nah. Hacksaw Ridge. You just don't want it. Mad Max. Nah, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a good movie. Yeah, just, just for a fiction just, movie. Yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> okay. Why that's controversial? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's not get into it. Nah, it's a good story. Uh, it's a good story, and it's cinematography. That's really good if you're yeah. interested in that. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know yeah, I like good cinematography. Huh? You know I like good cinematography. Yeah, no, it's really, really good, man. <laughs> Where are really we going good. with this? And, <laughs> and yeah, oh, there's, yeah, there's a few good scenes. It's, real, it's a good movie. Yeah. 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 I'm, but, not, like, uh, I'm not religious, but yeah, it's a good movie. I was going to say, this is like a lightning in the bottle moment. And I feel like maybe they are better than Gibson and Glover together in this movie. And if this had continued on to other films... It may have been something like that. Ooh. The only difference is I obviously Gibson and Glover is their partners. They're actual both cops. So, it works to have more films. Mm. But with this one here, like it would be like mm. you go home and I'm going home. They are making another one. It's big. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. Will they remake? Well, didn't they try to do a TV series of Lethal Weapon? Did that happen? They did. Oh, yeah, maybe. they had it. Yeah. They oh, that's had right. it. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't good. good. Not good. Yeah, because they replaced the actor. The yeah, main guy, because yeah. he's what was it for Me Too as well, wasn't it? He Which was one? The first actor that played is it Briggs, Mel Gibson's character? Yeah, yeah, they replaced him. There was some controversy thing now. I, I don't know. Yeah, hmm. I, I never got into it because I, I saw I'll fact check that. I yeah. saw the I saw who was playing it yeah. just re- and I was like, nah. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. You, you can't like you can't replicate that. It's like you can't replace Iron Man. Yeah, or even you know, but. Equivalent of like Lethal Weapon at that point in time was like Beverly Hills Cop. Mm. You won't ever like we'll get the first three Beverly Hills Cops. We'll never get another Beverly Hills Cop that's going to be that good. No. Well, they're doing um, Coming to America again. I reckon that'll be crap. Yeah, yeah I don't... I'll give it a go, but but yeah, I miss Eddie Murphy though. He's good. Um, the the quality of the the like the Blu-ray in this. There's so many times in the movie I could see the stunt drivers. <laughs> Oh, and I was yeah. like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like yeah. that's like blunt and in your face. Oh, did you watch? Did you watch the Apple TV? Where, where did yeah, you I've got it? a I've got a Blu-ray version. I got. Oh yeah, I watched the 4K. Yeah. Version. Yeah. Yeah. yeah even pretty... you can see the actual. 
even the first Die Hard because it's been remastered. Just, you know when um, what's his name falls from the building. Mm. Yeah, but you can see the same sort of effect in this when the when Bruce Willis is coming out from the yeah that massive water. yeah you just yeah. see like an outline around yeah it. that is the problem yeah. with 4K yeah. the 4K about, renders on these old yeah. movies. You notice like, everything. You see a lot of shit. You see yeah. everything. There's a yeah. point where they're driving down the street and it's just a front shot the mm. car driving towards you, and it's like above front and it looks nothing like Willis. Mm. No. Like, I'm looking at it going. That is a blatant stunt driver, <laughs> which I'm not that? surprised, but, you know. I'm going to find this. It was super noticeable because of just the quality of the, yeah. the, the screen. <laughs> um, I have here the lady on the train lady on that the just train. went mental. Oh, when you said train. move your legs. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> Because well, so it looked like he was trying to like reach through a dress, I think. I think yeah. that was the point of that part. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. But yeah. I was like- Because he's like, move your legs. And then his hands went there and she's kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, I'm going to show you this stuntman thing. Stunt keep, man keep thing. Keep Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's just funny. It's showing people's um, stunt uh, doubles. All right. Yeah, it's um, pretty funny. The other thing, uh, there was one major incompetent cop in this film. Yeah. It's the shaky incompetent cop down in the subway. Yeah. <laughs> he was a dickhead. Hey, man. Yeah. So What's that? Is he boat. just, is he that just going to shoot him for I jumping know. the turnstile? Yeah. <laughs> is that it? That was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's what happens in America. He pulls a gun and just randomly. scared of oh, yeah. Man, it's crazy. It's, it's, they're on edge. I was, I was like, what the hell's going on? He's just like, was like, I need to use the phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Christ. Um, practicals on the, tra- on the train sequence were really good, I think. Like the the train crash, oh, the, yeah, that was real. And then yeah, the fold, Can't find it. it looked like good. Yeah, it was folding like a piece of paper. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. that was good. So, um, just back on that stunt double thing. Basically, yeah. it had Hums, uh, Chris Hemsworth and his mm. stunt double. They looked very similar, right? And they had another person, and then it had Tom Cruise who was just sitting on the Burj to buy by himself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That seems about right. Yeah, because he's yeah. a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh anyway. uh, yeah. Well, I mean, most of the most stunt crews actually uh, give good props to Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, man. Like they're like, yeah. no, he's incredible. I'm saying yeah. he's crazy. He's on oh the, yeah. The water. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Quite a moment. Uh, I'll take just having a little bit of a just have a Reese's lappy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Continue. Um, the uh, I like how they do have the shot back to Rickman falling. For that moment of like realization yeah. that this mm. is, you guys have you ever, uh, you, does the name Gruber, mm. you know, remind you of anything? And there's that quick two second shot. And then I remembered, yeah, I do like uh, uh, Die Hard a lot more than this movie, even. Mm. All of, like straight away from that, just that one shot, I was like, oh yeah, I already missed watching the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was something about it that I was like, yeah, I think this, this movie is probably that, that take. I think that McTiernan might have been trying to make it a buddy cop movie. Yeah. And maybe that formula doesn't work for these two guys. That's why I don't sort of but, agree with that other, other comment. Oh, said. really? I, I kind of think... I, I don't know. There's something about I watching thought, Bruce thought, and him on screen. I did yeah. think they had good chemistry together, yeah. Sam Jackson and Bruce Willis. But it doesn't Lewis, match the... It's, by the end, it doesn't... It would have worked better for me if Sam Jackson had gone off in the helicopter and Bruce Willis had finished it off by himself. Yeah, I guess better, that almost. makes sense. Because it didn't make sense why Sam Jackson was still around by the yeah. end. Yeah, and the other thing well, too is, I don't know if it was back in those days, but this type of police work doesn't really exist. It would be sent to like a SWAT or... Well, this is what the movie yeah. This is what Hot Fuzz is all, all about, how much paperwork would be involved in this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. how good is that movie, man? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Did, uh, well, fuck a, off out the model town then. As it progresses, it just gets more ludicrous. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. What I, that's what annoys me this. Well, that's the thing. You this can't movie, be a cop doing this shit. This movie falls apart after all the all the goose chasing around. Yeah. When by the time he goes, you know, so what's 41 minus 21 or whatever? And he goes, what does that mean? Straight after that, after the whole bottle scene... This movie goes in a direction that mm. is just not interesting. Yeah, I also was and like when they when they figured out how to do the four ounces. That I, I, there was a lot well, of screen time. There. That was crazy though because I don't understand how they got to that conclusion because yeah. the whole issue was they couldn't figure out how to measure one ounce because mm. they were like we can get three ounces then it has to be exact. How do we know one ounce? And then all of a sudden he's like, no, hang on a second. If we pour, no, they, it was they need to get four. 
I know that. Liters, but they weren't talking about an ounce. By the end. It was it ounces, gallons, wasn't it? Gallons. 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 Four gallons. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, yeah. They said one ounce more. He goes, one ounce more or less. Yeah, but what I'm saying is they couldn't figure out how to measure a gallon exactly in those bottles. Yes. There was no way. No. And, but then by the end of it, he was just like, you know, what we do is we fill it up and then we just pour out a gallon. And then because they're like, oh, yeah. A, there was a way to like pour I bet them. You there's a YouTube video on that. Yeah. There's, yeah. It is a, it is a, um, science a what's question. it called? A science question. Yeah, right. And it would work. Because the, the millage that it would be, like, I think an ounce is, like, 24 grams or something. This is gallons, ounces. That's going lower. Don't, yeah. So, we have, yeah, we have liters and yeah. milliliters. Yeah. 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 But I think that the amount that, at like, uh, an ounce is a decent amount of leeway. Yeah. If I remember. It's not much, but it's enough for you to be like, okay, we're close enough to yeah, four right. gallons to- It still seemed convoluted the way they got to it. Mm-hmm. It, it is. It is convoluted. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a math question. <laughs> um, yeah, but I get what you're saying. I just think the movie loses a lot of itself after that scene. Yeah. Because we just go off of like, you know, we're, we're like, you know, he has that moment with the kid, which randomly he's holding up the kid's, you know, stolen yeah. shit and he's going to actually take the time. Yeah. To yeah. do this in this moment and yeah. like hold him up and be like, hey, kid. The most frustrating part was Sam Jackson's nephews deciding to go up into that classroom by themselves. Yeah. You what can- kids would want to stay in school when there's an opportunity to get out of there? Yeah, I'll be bailing straight away. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Be a fire drill. Yes. <laughs> Not only <laughs> that, but with the amount of cops around, you'd be like, this isn't a fire drill, even yeah. as a child. <laughs> but that's what they said. They go, this isn't a fire drill. And then they ran away to somewhere else. Yeah. And <laughs> it was crazy. Oh hey, what do you think God. of the bomb guy? I thought it was cool. Oh, he was great. Yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. The, he was like cop, the cop guy. bomb guy. Yeah. 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 Not the German one, the big dude. No. Nah, the other one. It was like the explosives expert. Yeah, the nerdy yeah. one. Yeah. The one that's cool. like comes in and goes, yeah. check He's this excited. out. Yeah. Bang. Bang. Yeah. 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 Oh, God damn it. That's another yeah, like, like a Die Hard 2 moment. With the blank, yeah. with the blanks. Yeah. He just sets the bomb and just sits <laughs> on the oh, floor. Yeah. I like how the chair explodes yeah. upwards. It's bang. Yeah. What? I wonder what place they used to make that. The oh, chair. Like, it's just a piston. Yeah, mm. Or cool. some guy in the background pulling the yeah, chair probably, back. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, the army tanks rolling in and no one notices it at all or yeah, says that was anything. Weird, yeah. I was like, this is fucking weird. Yeah. I mean, and no matter, like, I know all the cops have gone away from here, but is no one calling this in? Yeah. No one in the whole of New York. Mm. Yeah, I, I know, don't yeah. know how often a fucking army tank rolls through New York, but I'm fairly sure it's not that Will often. Will the roads support that weight? Yeah. Yeah, surely. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. They haul yeah. some heavy stuff on there, and they're always yeah. they're always maintaining the roads. Yeah, those. Yeah, constantly. Yeah. yeah one of the big things they say about I, New York I, I, is just constant sound of construction. But I've never... Oh, yeah, I guess you like to, yeah. Because if it holds cranes, it's probably the same weight as a tank, eh? Yeah. Big cranes. Wait, what, 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 do we, what do you mean, though? Oh, yeah, the road, just, you know, some roads like over here, you, it says um, uh, certain tonnage. 1.8 ton max. Load That'd have something. to be, main city streets would have to be able to support yeah. the highest. Yeah, yeah. I guess because well, they yeah, support carrying buildings. All those beams and stuff. No, but that's, 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 that's off the side. Yeah, that's like foundation work going down. Mm. Um, yeah, I like the use of the saints go marching in. You know, we had Ode to Joy. For the first film, yeah, and then when McTiernan came back, he was like, you know, well, let's throw another, like, you know, kids' song, yeah, kids' song mm. into it and make that its like driving <sighs> force, yeah. And they did a really good version of it the whole, like, like an army sounding version, of yeah, yeah, when the Saints go marching in. So, I like that little extra, yeah. Um, what's with all the weird glasses that the villains are wearing? <laughs> Like they're like to reference the other movie we did today. They're like Beatles sunglasses. Yeah, <laughs> John Lennon yeah. wore like in the later stages of his career. They're all wearing weird glasses. Yeah. Remember, there's a point in with the FBI guys where they're like, "So this is you know Simon, and then this is his like other guy. You know, there's the other guy that mm. helped him out, and the other guy's got like the there's really rectangle version. ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like is it just mandatory yeah. to wear also a big movie sunglasses big uh, big film for tank tops too uh, the big, yeah <laughs> the best the best sunglasses in any movie from any period are the ones from big trouble little china those stri- striped ones oh my god so good for the kanye <laughs> the wears these ones. days yeah oh does he well this yeah, is like it looks the like they're just white but they, they've got like just stripe right stripes through them 
Yeah, yeah that's so that's like that's what Kanye stronger. Was, yeah. Like yeah, I'm stronger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, seen that. Um, the, that's cool. No, I think like well, the seminal the seminal film glasses are the Ray Bans. Yeah. But that's because the they're 80s. the classics. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, they never go out of style Ray Bans yeah. either, do yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. Hey, um, do you find it weird how the mute chick sort of caught Jeremy Irons' eye and they went to go plow on the table? Yeah, that was just an additional scene I'll tell you about in the facts, but yeah. it was really weird. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you right now if you want to get right to the ending. That that ending was fucking shit out. So <laughs> horrible. So dumb. how quick did he buy the helicopter up? Yeah. And then that was, I thought I thought they wouldn't die. I thought he'd come back and then there was credits and I was like, that was weird, man. What happened? Oh, man, yeah. Simon went out worse than Boba Fett. Why couldn't he? <laughs> and that's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. bad. Why you couldn't know, that have? Was, why couldn't yeah. it have ended on the boat? Why did they have to have that extra? Because they had extra money to spend. It was it was a really <laughs> weird ending, man. Mini Act Four. It was a really weird ending. Yeah, it was strange. It was, it was really a, odd. It was a for you a uh, Dark Knight Act Four. It, well, not that bad. Yeah. No. Oh, not well. This no. was worse than was worse, way yeah. worse than that. Yeah. At least the but Dark yeah. Knight. At least that fourth act of the Dark Knight had, had a had a story purpose. moment and some yeah. poignancy to it. Yeah. yeah. It did, this yeah. was just like. This is, oh, let's add another explosion was, in here. Yeah, it was like, and it wasn't even John McClane was never under threat. It was no. bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was like, he walked straight out of the back of the car afterwards because there's the spotlight, and he's like, "Show your face, motherfucker!" Yeah, and you just, and he's standing there, and no one's shooting. <laughs> the <laughs> he's worst in the thing middle is, of the road. <laughs> they're in the. How did they spot him? That that was a police helicopter. They were on that somehow they they found these two plowing on the table. Yeah, they looked because their searchlight went through. Oh, yeah, they knew yeah. where they were because of the aspirin thing. Yeah, but yeah. how are you supposed to see that from up there? And the weird thing is, she starts like shooting. She, he's still balls deep, and she's like ah! <laughs> shooting up oh, at him. Yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> it's, and then Samuel Jackson goes, "Oh, that bitch, mad." <laughs> yeah, he goes, <laughs> "I like, think he's pissed at you, McClay." <laughs> yeah, it's a weird. Oh yeah, that's just a like, what the fuck is going choice. on? It was crazy. Yeah. It yeah. turned into bad boys. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was so different to the rest of the What the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah. Hey, is the fourth movie because I can't remember watching it. Is it along these lines, or is it back in? Like a- I think the fourth movie is like crazy action. Isn't that one that has a fourth jet? Movie, yeah, Does it have a jet. It has it? like yeah. it has a oh, has God. some really okay some scenes where you're like ah. This, no one can do this. Yeah, but I think that I think that the is fourth it like a, some movie true lie scenes. Yeah, he's in the jet. Well, it was it kind was, of, wasn't it? I think so. Die yeah. Hard, Die Hard Four was like 07, right? This was ninety five. Is that right? So it's come on like you, you just think of all the other movies that have come in the in between there, and how much it must have felt like I had to step up its game. Yeah. I'll say this: I think step Die Hard Four will be will make maybe be too long for years. <laughs> but I do think, like, you know, as in, like, I think the movie will feel long. I, I saw but it I, when it came out, definitely. Yeah. But, but yeah. I remember, like, I definitely enjoyed, at the very least, the first hour of Die Hard 4 a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought it was really good. Okay. So, yeah. and also, I think Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays- Oh, she's daughter. The daughter? Who's that? Um, you and McGregor's chick. Yeah, also, she, she's from Scott, Scott Pilgrim. Pilgrim. She's the girl with girl the and Scott Pilgrim. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what it's uh, yeah. Cloverfield Lane. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a chick yeah. from Cloverfield, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, she's really good in it as well. Ugh. And, yeah. We'll get to it, though. We'll get yes. to it. Yeah. Um, The car jump off the bridge. Oh, my God. Where he oh, goes, wait. buckle up. Oh, yeah. And they're following. And the car looks like it's fucking floating for a second. Like, yeah, legit said, floating. As soon as the car jumps off, because of their front heavy, they just get... Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one here goes. This one here jumps off and noses upward, yeah. like like it's being craned in. Yeah. Beautiful moment. Um, uh, uh, the there is some cool things that Irons does bring to the character. I think one thing that is never uh, used enough in the film. Is the fact that he's supposed to be getting really bad migraines all the time? Mm. I thought that would play a part in his demise. Even that, the yeah. fact that he gave his aspirin up, I was like, oh, that meant now maybe that he doesn't have his aspirin, they'll be in a fight, and he'll get overcome by a migraine, and Bruce Willis will win. Yeah, Never brought no, up nothing. Again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but, or at the very yeah. least, like I, there was a moment in it where he does uh, go like he's in the car and he's going. Like yeah, that, that like, was it. That was the and then time. I'm like. Why not have it that whenever he has this migraine, he gets really angry as a mm. villain and shoots one of the posse yeah. that are around him? And or they did something, that stuttering you know? thing twice with him. Yeah, yeah only that, twice. That's though. it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
I was like, why not? Yet again, underused. Yeah. As a, like, a oh, character. Had, that that psycho- psychologist, criminal psychologist in the beginning, useless character. <laughs> that's a- well, it ended up being useless. It would have been, he would have been useful if that that's stuff had paid off, but it the, didn't. Yeah. 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 Do we do it? Yeah. Do we just jump straight to it now? I got other things to talk about, but I think we jump straight to it. Yeah. Yeah. MVPs and weakest links. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'll go. I'll let Dan go first because you're always like, if I go first, it's easier. I like to do these on the day. So my MVPs. Don't you go look at it, my MVPs. I'm looking at yours. I'm the same as you. I do it on the, the like yeah. after we discuss. I like to yeah. think about because on when I'm watching. Because when we like, talk, it ends up making me think new things yeah. sometimes. So. Let me go weakest link first. Yeah. Can we just pick one, don't we? Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go the chick because she was useless. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not being sexist, feminist, or whatever, whatever it is. No, sexist. She killed that guy pretty hectically. Yeah. It, it, With that it's... weird curved knife that she had. Yeah. The, the sickles? What are they called? Yeah. It's a karambit. Oh, wow. You've probably got one, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. I think really a, sm- a much smaller version of that. Oh. That's a common tactical weapon. Didn't they used to castrate people with those things? I don't know about that. Back in the old day, yeah. Maybe. I'm anyway. not up on my castration Imagine history. Yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah, she was by far the worst in this movie. Fair enough. Yeah. I just, I don't know. One thing I will say is that that fucking scar looked horrible. Like it did not look like it was well, well oh, put the, on by the an effects team. Yeah, I was like, yeah. that, that looked like one of those ones that you get from like a party store. Yeah. <laughs> you just like. Yeah. Oh, anyway <laughs> anyway for me the MVP is going to be the bomb dude yeah he's pretty sense. heroic in the end yeah, too yeah. Yeah. gets covered in pancakes here <laughs> <laughs> beautiful I was going to say something about my not it's the, the rock the rock comes in and just the rock comes in and just puts his bloody set of pancakes right in front of it you see how much what? fucking maple syrup that man has yeah, he would. on yeah. his pancakes he probably would yeah. Jesus Christ finishes the bottle yeah <laughs> Uh, and so M- that's your MVP and MVP. Week- yeah, Weakest Link. Yep, yep. Declan. Uh, weakest Link for me is that freaking cop that tries to shoot Sam Jackson for jumping the turnstile. Yeah, it makes no sense. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. absolutely abysmal form from that man. Yeah, I get um, that. But that was a tense moment, that. It was, it was a tense moment, but he's just stupid. Yeah. He caused trouble. <laughs> just, yeah. I mean, not that it would have made much difference in the long run because Simon was always going to let that bomb off. That was yeah. what they... but Because uh, that was his plan. Yeah. Um, and then... MVP for me, I can't remember the dude's name, but who's the who's his like cop mate? The one that ends up running back into the building to save the kids. Oh, and he's um, the one that comes up with the plan to Joe get him Lambert. Out. Yeah, the, the um the Native American. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what yeah, a yeah. hero! He's the biggest hero of the movie. Yeah. yeah, actually, you're probably right. Him and that woman are pretty yeah. good. Yeah, in they the movie. run back in with those yeah. kids, and he's the one. He goes like, "We got to get him out," and the guy's like, "No," and he's like, "I don't reckon they're watching." He's like, "And we can't like if if it gets close, we've just got to try and run. That's all we can do." And I was like, yeah. "That is reasonable thinking." And then he has yeah. that moment where he's like, "Get to the roof, we can jump it." Yeah. Like well, we're gonna try anything hey, to get out is of that here. The guy, oh, is it the Ben Foster movie? They rob a bank, and he gets shot in the head just out of nowhere. I'm trying to think. Um, well, oh, the latest called? one of the latest movies he was it? in, which was fantastic, is um, oh, Winter, the one with um, Wind River. I haven't seen Wind it. River. Yeah. Oh my God! Please watch that movie. Oh, um, was it Cowboy? Was no, it? it's um, Jeremy Renner. And I don't like Jeremy Renner. Dude, he's so good in this. Oh, man. Jeremy Renner and and he's the worst person for Marvel. <laughs> well, it's Jeremy Renner and it's um, Elizabeth Olsen, but it is and he's got his own show coming up, hasn't he? Hawkeye, I think it's yeah. going to be about his daughter as the, well, though. Isn't he the lead in it? I think or it's going to be about him and his daughter, isn't it? What Hawkeye the, the show? Yeah, they need they I need some so. sort of strong connection there because uh, yeah, he's not good. I'm not. I'm not kidding, man. So when watch what's it called? Wind, Wind River. Look, even look at the look at the IMDb on it. What seven point seven out of ten? Yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. film. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was in that. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah he's good. That guy. That's it's, yeah. That he's my MVP. Okay. What's yours? <laughs> okay, moving Let's on. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, for me, I think the weakest link I had was the FBI. Because they just, they came in and they were like... They're always awake in like, these movies. They were like, oh, you know, like, do you know who this guy is? Do you know? And John's literally sitting there like, you know, 
Yeah. Like, you guys going to say something that's fucking going to matter to me? classic John McClane, why he won't get promoted. He back chats. Yeah. He just but he's absolutely also, back oh, that, Actually, that whole scene in the car was so bad. But the, it, the only thing I was thinking of in that moment, I'm like, you know why he's not saying anything? He's so frustrated that they're being so cryptic. No, like, I, I get why he was yeah. frustrated, but I'm saying that's why he's not getting... He's not it's playing true, the game. Yeah. He's yeah. not playing... Yeah. He's, he's yeah. just... He just attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Got, that's John McClane. that guy in the back as the butt in the last moment. Yeah, yeah. And then Simon comes on and knows their names. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's he. FBI were just weak as ever. Yeah. Even the cops were doing more for this, yeah, this whole know, thing, yeah. which is fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the MVP uh, for this, honestly, for me, it was the uh, the inclusion of uh, the Saints go marching in <laughs> as the music. I like the synergy. It felt like it could have been a trilogy mm. if that was like the yeah, thing. Right, and you know, yeah. you know how like uh, what's his name calls. Uh, Edgar Wright called the three movies the Cornetto trilogy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like if there, he did the second film and he kind of got something else, like under like Florida Lease, the as the, like the, the symphony trilogy. Yeah, the yeah. symphony trilogy or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. So I feel like it was just lightly missed there, but that was one of my like you know weak link moments. Uh, um, MVP moments. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's the MVPs. Yeah. Uh, top three scenes. Let's get straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it. just of how stupid it is, I'm going to say... Well, first, actually, the first scene will be the, the opening. That was cool. Mm. Yeah, the explosion. Um, yeah, that was probably the best bit. And the second scene will be the that cop moment where the, the train gets derailed. Mm. And just for stupidity, I'm putting it in there. When the sex scene at the end. <laughs> just had no Oh, wow. <laughs> Why is that? Because they're so stupid. That's we're, we're like where Simon gets like super frisky for no, a moment. Just, He's like, mm, just, I'm on a piece of that. And then, yeah, it's just dumb as well. I'll put it in there. I, I, feel, I feel like you were reaching for those ones. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I like the honesty. <laughs> Declan. Uh, school, school bomb sequence. Yeah. School bomb sequence. Yeah. It's good. Well, my VP's in there as well, so that's another reason why it's up there. That makes sense. Um, I literally just did have two more in my head, and because Daniel <laughs> said that I was rich, and it's made me forget them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hang on, let me work back through it. What was the other ones? Oh shit! You go, Reese. I believe really? forgot what I had. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll do mine. <laughs> I um, had them in my head. In my head. <laughs> I, I know you uh, were weak linking the woman. Yeah. But the heist moment with the woman coming in and just nailing that guy with the knife. I knew you'd like so that. So fucking crazy. Yeah. I was like, this feels so weird. And I love that. I love And when just, that happened, I was like, wow. And, and, and Simon has to like pull her off her, like being like, yeah. he's dead, homie. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I really like that. Um, McLean Harlem scene. I mean, yeah, that, sorry, yeah. that yeah, that was one of yeah. mine. That was that yours. Was yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think that's just classic. Yeah, and, you know, I think every time I think of Die Hard with a yeah. Vengeance, it's good. A good, that good first act of yeah. And uh, the boat command center interaction between McLean and Simon. Oh, okay, I just yeah, yeah. like that yeah. little where he notices the bomb coming up and he goes, "I've messed up," type of thing. Yeah. yeah, that's where it actually is. I think, and their whole conversation with each other in that moment. I like those little introspectives. Yeah. I think I did something similar in the third Pirates film where it was like Davy Jones and oh, yeah. Calypso talking yeah. to each other. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like those little moments. Mm. And we haven't had any of that in it yet. No. no. Like we finally had the villain and the, and the, um, the hero mm. meet yeah. Yeah. and have that reaction. Yeah. yeah. What are they doing in the first one? Like, where in, pre- which one? First Die Hard. In the first Die Hard, yeah, yeah, but in in this movie, oh, I got you. just yeah. The, yeah. the film. It was the first interaction, finally a proper oh, yeah. conversation. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so the Harlem one was my other one. Then my other one was um, driving through Central Park. Yeah. Well, actually, I, was, I, was, I found myself giggling in that scene quite a bit. Oh, because it's ludicrous. Yeah. yeah. But it was fun. Like, that was fun. It wasn't so stupid that it, yeah. was, like, it was just kind of like... Yeah. And having Sam Jackson there the whole time just being yeah. like, slow down, slow down. <laughs> it's like, I like how he does have that moment where he goes... Is we gotta go to this location. He's like, mm. "Oh, well, you can't go this way." And then he does go. We're going through the park. And that's good. Yeah. I liked mm. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, moving on. Uh, we've talked a little bit about the cinematography, but I want to go a little further within it. 
Oh. Uh, uh, with, Making it harder uh, for you. Yeah. Well, Dan, this is your time. Wow. This is your time to shine. And to, to tell us if you're going to sack, sack the film cinematography or give it a, a nice beefy briskety morsel. Um, a little context for the new listeners. Sack it or brisket uh, came from Dan's love of beef briskets. Uh, check out the Enola Holmes episode for more information on that. Two for another one. And... What, another brisket? Yeah. Will you invite me this time? Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. T- uh, what is it? T- TFI or something? TFTI. That one. Yeah. Uh, and unique term to sack that if he doesn't like something. So is he going to sack this flick cinematography or make himself beef brisket and love every morsel of its visuals? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, say that. I just think of those old American commercials are like, you know, chilies and all that. You see yeah, the steak yeah. in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I've saw obviously a brisket. Um, mm. This is, I think, the best so far out of the three. Um, we could probably talk more about the final scenes because it's mostly dark and it's lit yeah. up by the helicopter, and I think that was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Um, smart choice of you know lighting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, to be honest, I haven't got much more I can say on it. Um, Look, framing wise, it's good, especially for an action movie because it's real fast in the way it's edited. Yeah. So you do know where everything's. Uh, you can follow it easily, basically, with the eye. Except if you're underground and water's coming at you. For yeah, some yeah, that was yeah, that was a bit, a bit odd. But yeah. you know, other than that, look, it's it's well lit. Um, I can't I can't fault it, and I think if there was a bit more of a, uh, I'm still thinking there's a there's a teamwork play thing here. Yeah. With the editing. Um, if I if some of the scenes were let longer, yeah. So then, you think there's a problem with the edit? Yeah, like someone. If some were longer, I think you'll appreciate the cinematography more. Yeah, because I think yeah, he, the guy who shot this, he's done an amazing job. Um, yeah, and and I, and, I, and I think they should be credited for that. Yeah, well, I think yeah. this is the closest that I've seen a movie that I can think of now that is like Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, well, that's that's like, the vibe I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it did very much look like the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe because Dark Knight Rises was also shot in New York, right? Yeah, yeah. the yeah. other ones but, were in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. this but this one felt like that that movie in the daytime. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna I like I like that better than Dark Knight. <laughs> the cinematography. You like this more than Rises. Yep. I'd like to do a retrospective sack or brisket with Dan across all the all the, the series the- movies that we've done. <laughs> yeah. Do the Harry Potters would Harry, be yeah, mostly would- like briskets, wouldn't they? Yeah. Harry Potter yeah, they're, yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. I'd like to do the Dark Knight trilogy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you'd sack them. Yeah. No, no they're, sack they're, them all. they're still briskets. They're still, they're still, they're still, they're still briskets, but I like this one better. Yeah. Would you sack, more, you'd, you'd sack the colour grading of the Dark Knight? Yeah, that's a big throw off. Like that opening's... Oh, shit. <laughs> It was really just throwing his mic off. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this movie. <laughs> but opening, opening scene with Ledger coming in, that yeah. there is flawless. Yeah. yeah. Perfect colors cinematography. And colors. It's it's all legit. Like it's mm. all consistent. As the movie progresses, I just think it's just all over the place. Mm. The color changes um, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And that and that's that, what happens when you shoot on film though, isn't it really? Sometimes. Well, I can go back and look at other movies and they're way better than these. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, look at Conrad Hall, Conrad Hall's films. Yeah, it's fucking true. amazing. Mm. Um, yeah, but you know, I'm surprised. There probably is online. There should be something on because I know Wally Fist is praised, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Are we still on There's, Die Hard? No, we, we, yeah, we, I'm just saying. Going, the like, guy, I should say the guy. I'd like, 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 like to make every film take a turn into Daniel just smashing <laughs> Nolan and Fist up. No, it's, it's, it's like it's still, it's still good. It's still good. Fisting Fist at Daniel. But there's there's cinematographers. That's it. Oh, we should do that. Going elbow deep with Dan. <laughs> and a twist. And a twist. Uh, there's other guys that. Was so sorry to say they're way better than Fister. <laughs> and here it is, the new segment. There you go. <laughs> Does it deserve a fist? Does it deserve it? We'll, 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 we sack sack it or brisket for uh, should we fist it? Should we fist it? Should, should we fist it? it? Should, well, that we, makes should, should we yeah. fist it? Sack it or fist it? <laughs> sack it or fist it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's brisket or fist it. Brisket, brisket or fist, or fist yeah, it. Fist it means it's shit. <laughs> And brisket means it's good. Oh my god! <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah. So this movie is a brisket. It's a brisket. It's a brisket. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a well shot movie. I think. 
<sighs> well, we know that Dan will uh, deck uh, Wally Fister, but I want to know who Declan will deck mm. oh, see, in this film. This one actually is the, the cop. <laughs> Yeah, probably. It's hard to. I would. It would be him. Yeah, really. I, I can't can really pick that. anyone else. Yeah. yeah, that needs to be punched uh. that much. <laughs> no, no. He he could. Take everyone a else, beating. like I said, this movie. I kept. I kept commenting. I was like, actually, everyone's like really making good decisions. In yeah, this movie. yeah. <laughs> like at yeah. every level. Yeah. I, was, I was shocked. The FBI are a bit annoying, but they don't do anything to jeopardize no. them. But that's the thing. That was the thing I was annoyed with because they came in the frame and they talked about him and I was, and then they went, but then they, they're no, gone. But then they were <laughs> helpful because he goes, how many men can you get? And he's like, I can get you this many. Like, what do you need? Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's helping. He <laughs> <laughs> wasn't just like, I can't Excellent. throw men at this. <laughs> it's usually what happens in these movies. Where's McLean? <laughs> Oh my McLean. lord! You've got to answer to this. <laughs> How bad are those guys? <laughs> that second movie. When was you say that, it's like they're constantly whinging. I are know. You, actually, I'm gonna say. Oh, you haven't done yours yet. Your <laughs> final thing. So I'm gonna have to change my score for number one. But anyway, go. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, um, and also uh, to second part this, uh, what uh, inform us on a Hollywood behind the scenes cast and crew fight? Have mm-hmm. you got any left? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, got, I've actually how many got, do we have left? Uh, well, I at least have two or three more that I actually have in my own head, just from your own head, my, just generally my own brain, uh, just from generally being a movie fan that yeah. I'm going to go. Okay. That I actually enjoy these stories more than the actual yeah. like caddy fights, yeah. right? So this is more of a. It's not so much a fight as it is accommodating someone being annoying on set and mm-hmm. unprofessional. <laughs> yeah. Um, from the movie Apocalypse Now. Oh, you, you oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So basically, I I know this one. Marlon Brando, yeah, yeah. Um, rocked up, overweight, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just fucked up, yeah. And he's meant to be like this army colonel that's been, <laughs> and that's why they put him in a dark, yeah? yeah, yeah. So basically, the way that Francis Ford Coppola is like, he's like, oh, fuck, man, what's going on? <laughs> How annoying oh, would you be? And they're like, they can't not have Marlon Brando in the movie, he's like turned up on everything, yeah. Like, what do we do here? And Can you like, imagine that? They dressed him in black so and they lit him just so you don't see his face. Yeah. You know, in that scene when That's, he's talking, he's taking yeah. big pauses. But yeah. It seems like good acting. But he's breathing. No, what's oh. actually happening here is oh. he couldn't remember the script. He has oh, an fuck. earpiece in his ear. What? And Francis Ford is feeding him yeah. the script. Yeah. But it's been one of the most iconic scenes in movie history. It's an amazing scene. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. It makes space. no sense. I'll like, say, it's just I'll, like, I will preface it with saying, like, that's what's that allegedly that's what happened. Yeah. I don't know. I can't say 100% of it, but yeah. that, apparently that's what Francis Ford has come out and said yeah. about that. Imagine sequence. if those are still lies. That just. That, that is. It'd be pretty funny. Honestly, that sounds. That every Everything I hear about Apocalypse Now sounds like it would. If I was ever directing something like that, it would put me in the fucking grave. Mm <laughs> Like, yeah. it, I don't understand how, like, about, Francis Ford Coppola came out of it even Apparently, it was, a night, like okay. it was a nightmare for everybody involved. Though. Yeah. Like, it wasn't fun whatsoever. Yeah. No, the it'd whole be, production was horrible. There, up there is uh, one of, the, like, Wizard of Oz. That was similar. Yeah, well, even well, even The Revenant. The Revenant had horrible... Yeah, but the, yeah. this, but the difference with that is The Revenant was... Per- they purposely yeah. tried to make yeah. it hard yeah. that yeah. that, and that And yeah. that's what annoys me about that movie yeah. is that they built on that. They were like... The media was like, they did it. I'm like, but they chose to do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could have been in a studio. <laughs> yeah. Well, they no, could have done it in the real... Yeah. They could have done it in nature, but they could have, like, provided more provisions yeah, to have people. Yeah, have like that. fucking like, cabins around Yeah, like, they, yeah. they purposely made it a nightmare. Well, now with the Mandalorian tech, with that... Background. That looks amazing. That could, yeah. You it can't looks, even tell. It looks great. Yeah. Even yeah, and we're watching it in 4K. You can't notice anything. No, no. yeah, it's ridiculous. seamless. Yeah, yeah. That's using some crystal LED or something. Mm. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's literally seamless. And, yeah. and the thing that's most like amusing about the whole scenario is just the lighting. Yeah, it's, the it's lighting ridiculous. is so good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's painfully. Have you seen it finished yet? We talked about this every. I've episode. seen. I've seen season two finally. You did. Yeah, yeah. all of it. Did I completed like it. The ending. Yeah. I fucking loved it. Yeah. yeah. Even though it was like not great, like the it's look, nah, shit. still fine. Like, yeah, <laughs> you that's know what? exactly how I felt. I've been doing a massive deep dive down a massive rabbit hole, an endless rabbit hole on YouTube, and I'm going to give praise to George Lucas. As soon as he left, the whole thing just fucked up. No, hundred percent. Yep. The, yeah. the, the, Those really, last really the movies, thing that went yeah. wrong with the prequels was they were too, well, and they. I think tired. the prequels <laughs> need. I think the prequels needed to be full CGI, and they're going to get hammered for the way their CGI looks now because it's hasn't aged well 
Yeah. They were the first movies to be dependent on CGI yeah. at that level yeah. for the whole movie. So if we if I watch if it that again, never happened, who like where would we be now? Yeah. We wouldn't have made these leaps and bounds. Everyone yeah, complains true. about CGI, but he was the Beatles. Well, I mean, he was a, he's a, he's he's a, a genius. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. not he's just not a writer or director no. at, at an elite level, no. really. But I mean, and th- worked, that's not a knock. He's like he's he's amazing. He yeah. worked well when he was working with someone yeah. else. He wanted yeah. Spielberg to direct the prequels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, but Spielberg was like, I don't want to commit Do, to another trilogy that, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like, there's that yeah. moment in the documentary in yeah. episode one <laughs> the, the where second, he goes, the second unit or the the. the what the two? What are they called? The, the AD, assistant AD. Yeah. He's doing all the. He work. was doing everything, yeah. and he was just. Oh, his name. Yeah. George is just sitting in his chair, man. Just... And all the actors are like, "Oh, we we we're happy to do another take," and he's like, "No, nah, it's fine." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like. There's one where like Spielberg comes in to check out the the whole place. Yeah. And he's taking him through it, and he goes, "Oh, what are these characters? The droids? Are they like the smart version of like stormtroopers? Stormtroopers?" And he's like, "Like the upgraded version." He goes, "No, they're like dumb." Yeah, he's like, no, he says, oh, they're like he's like, they're stupid. just bread and butter to the Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I like it. Spielberg goes, ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then moves on. And yeah. they're just like, but the funniest thing was happened. Spielberg <laughs> was trying to put its arm back on. He was putting it on the wrong way around. Yeah. yeah. So it was you're really like, funny. What is going on? Anyway. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we'll, uh, we'll do our. Maybe we should do that next. Let's do yeah, Star, Wars Star, Star Wars next. Do do what order we do, do we do it in though? The proper order, how they'll release. Four, five, six, one, two, three, yeah. seven, eight, nine. Because yeah. the first, I, I'll tell you right now, the prequels can be painful. The prequels are very painful. Yeah. So episode three, that, I dig. Episode I dig episode two three. is episode two is painful. Is you'll yeah. you'll hate it. You'll yeah, I remember. I've, I've seen it more. Yeah. Yeah, but number two. Trust me, rewatching number two will. Yeah. Here's is the it, thing, though. Here's, is it, here's, is it here's the underwater put in the grave. Well, here's here's a controversial world? opinion, though. I'd rather watch episode two than I would rewatch episode nine. Really? Yeah, I hated episode nine. I thought like, it was shocking. The, yeah. the, when they get underwater, I think bringing what's Palpatine someone? back completely makes the original trilogy defunct. Yeah, it's stupid. Mm. Wait, underwater. Yeah, what's is, the point of true. our original Wait, trilogy now? It's like, listen, let's not get too listen. far. Right? <laughs> underwater. What's one? That which one's that one? Episode one. Yeah, that was sick. I love. Oh, yeah, it's just the Anything, underwater. I, lo- okay, for example, if you look at Mandalorian, have you watched the Abyss Man? <laughs> Mandalorian, the Asuka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka, the opening, <laughs> uh, the opening of that, and the the whole sci-fi feel. Freaking, that's Star Wars. Yeah. Why haven't I done that anywhere else? Why are we talking about that right now? Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> like, you just spoiled the moment of the Mando. Yes, move on. Okay, Lord move Jesus. On. We spoil everything on this <laughs> show. I know. I just feel bad if <laughs> yeah. anybody's like his family. You spoiled it on a thing the other week when we said what who comes back because we thought you were talking about the person that comes Did back I? in the last episode and you went Ahsoka. Yeah, no, we've already spoiled it. We've already spoiled it. Sorry, my bad, man. This is not good. I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> nah, because we're going to wrap this up. We're going to run out of time. <laughs> oh. My little camera there is getting heating up. Oh my god, the facts! Someone give me the facts. And here's the facts with a big explosion. <laughs> Boom. Okay. <laughs> so every time, this is so cheesy. Every All single right. time. Let's get on with it. Um, Bruce Willis suggested Samuel Jackson for the movie, and Jackson was thrilled. He says uh, he's first he's seen the first Die Hard maybe thirty times. Wow, hectic. Yeah. Uh, originally, You're even talking really fast now. Yeah. He's like, "Well, hectic." Yeah. <laughs> I feel pressured now. You are the originally. Wow, originally titled Simon Says, uh, where Zeus was scripted as a woman, <laughs> and was considered by Joel Silver. Here you go as the third sequel yeah, uh, to Lethal Weapon. Twentieth Century Fox, however, did not agree to sell the script to Joel Silver. Oh, well, there you go. That wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that it wasn't good enough. Right. I read it wrong. Oh yeah. My bad. It made a good joke it at the start. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> brutal. <if> it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was actually the other way around. They wouldn't sell it to him. Uh, Samuel Jackson said that Zeus is the closest character to his personality of any that he's played. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. He's sort of the same character. Character and everything. Yeah. <laughs> he's Sam Jackson, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, the highest grossing movie worldwide of 1995. Wow. Right. Yeah. yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It, it didn't. Big. It didn't make much in the US. I think it made like a hundred million in the US, and then it went on to make uh, a couple of hundred million overseas, and that's what pushed it over. Oh, right. um, on the DVD commentary, screenwriter Jonathan Hensley says the idea for the film's plot. Here we go. This is interesting. Came came to him when he imagined 
what would happen if one of his childhood yeah. friends who was injured after Hensley threw a rock at him mm. decided to seek revenge on him as an adult? Yeah. Hmm. I heard that one, yeah. That is a weird... Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> that his idea would be his friend would make him run around the city and be like, <laughs> Simon says do this. That's creepy. wonder if his friend's name was Simon as well. <laughs> um, uh, another thing in the commentary he says is that the first hour of the film is... His original Simon Says script, word for word. Mm. Uh, he only just changed the character names. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, John McTiernan called the plot, here you go, and this says a lot about the film, frail and outrageous. <laughs> I hope people enjoy its ridiculousness. Yeah, so just, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what I think most well, of... Well, that's the way the series is going, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of... Uh, Die Hard can be explained. He probably tried to make a serious movie and after the edit, he's going, oh, fuck, this is crazy. Yeah. And then he just says that to make people believe in it. Mental. Like, um, yeah. like uh, Johnny Wiseau after The Room and he's like, yeah, oh. it's actually a dark comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the filmmakers really did... <laughs> Such a bad movie. The the bum. F- he's bum. God damn it. The filmmakers really did pull the big pickup truck off the bridge with a boat. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Jesus. Uh, McLean's watch is on the inside of his wrist. Yes, I noticed that. For the whole film. Mm. And that's actually how Bruce Willis wears his yeah. watch. Yeah. Like a fucking Navy SEAL for mm. some reason. Because yeah. he is. He's Bruce Willis. Did you know that? That's that's the reason why they're yeah, watching. Because I can see it when they're, when like, they're yeah. like holding a gun. Yeah. Makes sense. Especially this, because if sometimes you do it too far, you can press the buttons and that. But also, the other reason is um, for any type of uh, sheen from the watch. So people don't uh, see reflection. it. Reflections. Yeah. 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 Snipers will get you. But we'll- um, Jonathan Hensley was detained by the FBI after completing the script for the film huh. because he knew extensive information about the Federal Gold Reserve in downtown Manhattan. <laughs> wow. Hensley stated that he got all the information from an article written in the New York Times. Oh, yeah. So anyone could have gotten it, really. Yeah. Uh, the sandwich board that Bruce Willis wore while filming in Harlem was originally blank rather than text to ensure no one was offended by the racist message. Yeah. Uh, the message was added with CGI in post-production. Didn't notice And that. some television broadcasts use an alternate version uh, where the sign reads, I hate everybody, okay. which is sometimes erroneously uh, said to be the original version of the sign used for the filming. Hmm. But this was added with CG in the post. Oh, right. And for the final th- fact, mm-hmm. uh, you'd actually need 480 dump trucks to steal all the gold from the Federal Reserve. A standard gold bar kept at the Federal Reserve weighs approximately 25 pounds, 11.3 kilo. Can I steal one of those trucks? No, we ish. <laughs> but yeah, that's a that's a lot. Like you, <laughs> Gold is heavy. Gold's heavy as shit. Man, man. No wonder Sam Jackson carried it with two hands. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so weird now. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> okay. Um, final thoughts. Uh, Declan, you go first. Yeah. yeah. No, this movie is fun. Um, it's got weird pacing issues. Yeah, but um, I, I, you know, it's not. You don't sit there thinking, "Oh, this is terrible or annoying." Um, I was yeah. willing to watch it through to the end. Yeah, but the ending is terrible. It's not. It's not good. <laughs> it's got a shock. It's definitely ending. not good. It's well, it's should, harmless as a film. Like you know what yeah. I mean? Like should have an ending terrible count. Good. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of movies, man. Really I've just bad never, I just don't know that I've ever. I mean, we've compared this to Dark Knight Rises a lot, and Jeremy Irons maybe goes out as as much of a chump as Bane does in the Dark Knight <laughs> yeah, Rises. You're right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. In all retrospect, yeah. yeah. And undone by a woman he loves, like she makes him slip up. Yeah, <laughs> literally slip up. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, hold the fuck up. Uh, (laughs) Damn, man, what are your final thoughts? Um, Yeah, so I'm going to change my score from Die Hard 1 to a 7.5. From a 7. From a 7, yeah. And I'm giving this a 7. So it's in between my Die Hard, yeah. 2 and 1. 2 and 1, yeah. yeah. Straight in the 7. Look, it's a ridiculous film, Mm. but it's fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. but yeah, look, anything, anything with uh, Bruce Willis playing that diehard role, I think it's cool. I might, uh, I might regret saying that after with number two. five, <laughs> yeah. mainly. Um, and anything, look, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson to me, he's like a <clears throat> an iconic Hollywood legend. So yeah. stick him anywhere, and just oh, there was a 
there was a thing um it was a 2020 thing it was like a little uh skit or something on netflix yeah about 2020 how bad it is mm. yeah he's in that yeah he is i saw the yeah. for that yeah and uh yeah the, it's pretty crap but but yeah, but him on, but him on there it was it was, cool. it was the best part of yeah, it. Yeah, best part of it. Yeah, yeah. So right. just him being on screen is, mm. is good. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It's an okay film. It's yeah. Good. Seven yeah. seven? So you're yes. giving it a seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed it more than I expected I was going to. Um But yeah, definitely that last last act of the film, like act, the act act four. Like that mini act four felt super weird. And that first like half of the film is just so good. I even didn't mind the federal bank stuff, even though it was like frenetic editing. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I I would say all around the chemistry between those two made the movie. Mm. And um, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm giving it a 7.5. Mm. Just above Die Hard 2 because I don't think it really doesn't deserve much like super high. No. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's it. Cool. Um, so I think just wrap it up. Let's just wrap this baby up. <laughs> um, so the, we've just reviewed Die Hard Three, uh, uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Uh, you've been listening to Neon Radio podcast. I'm Reese. I'm Dan. I've got to go. My wife's still on hold. I'm <laughs> <laughs> better a second time. Uh, you have a good week. Respect. <laughs>